Oh, hot mic. It's already on. What's up, everybody? It's Boy Playground. Uh, and up at extra credit number 70, we've got a bucket full of biscuits and Tyler. Uh, not familiar with either of these guys, but you know, they they bring a lot of heart in, in the competition and enthusiasm to the table. I don't know. Uh, just based off of characters, I'd probably give the advantage to Rob just because that Nair is kind of silly, right? It's uh, super not punishable. Uh, and, you know, like, I, I think simple stuff like that goes a long way when it comes to, like, mid-level players, right? Like, you don't really worry about tier lists unless you're, like, the upper, upper echelon. But, um, like, mid-level players, it's usually the gimmicks. And with the spike there, um, yeah, like, that's something that's something exploitable that, that Rob can do. Fox doesn't have the best recovery. Uh, I mean, yeah, he, got, he has the fireball. But when you're Rob and you can, you know, throw out the jets like that, uh, good things can happen for you. So yeah, tough break there for Tyler. He goes down with a, a pretty solid two stock. It's a bucket full of biscuits, but we'll see if he can run it back here. I will say, even though I didn't see most of that match, shout out to them for not going PS2 the very first match. We saw Kalos, which means somebody said, hey, you want to go to PS2? And the other guy was like, nah, let's strike. And that's a, a rarity here. And especially on stream. So there you go. You got to look at something besides usual. Uh, a bucket full of biscuits. Is, is he stunned right now? Is he styling? He wins and he switches characters? Fox. Meanwhile, we got Tyler sticking with Fox. Um, I don't know. If bucket full of biscuits is, is confident enough to switch after a win, I'm probably leaning towards him in this matchup as well. Here at Small Battlefield, a.k.a. slightly smaller PS2. Um, and then, yeah, so he... He is going to do a lot of jumping in place and swinging that big old sword around, and it's going to be up to Tyler to use his speed to try to slide in and find openings. But, yeah, I'm, I guess we'll just see how effective he is at that. And then on top of that, like, Shulk has the X-Factor with those Monado arts. I'm not sure how, uh, I guess, proficient Bucket Full of Biscuits is with it, but, you know, if he knows what he's doing. This could get this could get ugly, but uh, in the early on we're actually pretty even. Actually, Tyler has a bit of a lead. Oh my goodness, what was that side B? Oh, and then doesn't get punished for the the up B that lands on stage there. Uh, bucket full of biscuits, missing a couple of opportunities here. Maybe this is the the game that Tyler needs. Let's see, breaking out that smash art. Yeah, you're definitely a kill percentage if you're Tyler. Got to be careful. And the up B, yeah, with that smash without art takes that stock easily. But, uh, you know, Fox is the glass cannon. We, we saw the glass. I mean, well, he lived up over 100%. It's not like he died early. But we're, we're going to need to see the cannon. You can't let a bucket full of biscuits build up too much extra credit off this stock here. And, you know, sometimes you need to get lucky. Biscuits was facing the wrong direction. Catches a mean up smash. So there you go. Tyler only at 44, 50%. You know, could be worse. But, uh, yeah, Biscuit's movement is just really good there uh, with the, the quick run-up and grab. Good stuff out of Tyler by stalling out and not landing directly on that up smash. I thought that was going to get ugly. Uh, breaking out the shield Monado art now. So, yeah, the, the hits are not going to do much damage, but also it stops Fox from able to do anything to you. But, yeah, just uh, with Shulk's range, like, I, I, can, I see things getting really difficult if... If Biscuits like slows down and stops approaching, like he, like there might not be a point where he gets touched. But he's playing kind of aggressively, and I'm a little bit surprised. Tyler is able to uh, get in and take advantage of it here. Good side B there, early side B to get back to stage, getting aggressive going up those two up airs. Let's see, there you go, just letting uh, Biscuits jump up and down in place. Let's see, we're just about dead even here. There you go, that's what we're waiting for, right? Biscuits just. Playing very patiently to swing the big old sword around. Like, yeah, theoretically, Tyler could uh, pick his spot, like, if he knows the frames on it and get in there. But again, like, between two mid level players, it's tough. That's a lot to ask for. Oh, he gets the, the sour spot uh, near like he wanted, but isn't able to follow up with the up smash. And the up smash definitely would have killed there. Uh, that's a missed opportunity, and I think it's going to cost him this game. Let's see. Yeah, just, just swinging that big old sword around. You got to hold shield if you're if you're playing against Shulk at the ledge. Let's see. And again, with another smash, Monado R. And he catches him. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, bucket full of biscuits, he was silent there. He, he felt very comfortable after that first win with Rob, switched it over to Schultz, and yeah, he just, he just knew what he was doing.